guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chase Vogler channel. Uh, this video is inspired by John B. He'll be the first link down in the description below. Uh, this is like a montage over some fishing products that I think are way too high priced and have weird names and stuff. And uh, if you didn't notice, I got a Buckwear shirt on. That'll be the second link down in the description below. Go get you some Buckwear gear. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video. So the website that I'm on right now is the UH. You don't know what TWH stands for. It's TackleWarehouse.com. The first thing we're looking at is ALX Rods. And they got some weird names on these rods. So I think, uh, well, we're going to start off roasting this brand right here. Because not really roasting, but just why do they have this weird name of a rod? The first rod right here is an ALX IKOS series casting rod. So say you're fishing and someone comes along driving by and they're like, oh, that's a nice rod, man. What do you got? Well, dude, I got an ALX IKOS series casting rod. Go pick you one up at Tackle Warehouse. Like, if someone wants that, they're not going to remember it. And over here, ALX Zolo. Like, that's easy, but why IKOS? Like, that's a terrible name for a fishing rod. Actually, I do have an ALX rod, but I have the Enoch series, and it's good. And mine did not cost $300. I got mine on sale at Tackle Warehouse for $99.99 um, Black Friday sale. The next one is a Daiwa casting reel. Once again, if someone asks you, you're not going to say the Daiwa SSSV103 JDM casting reel. This is a Japanese company. Um, yeah, it's a $200 reel with a terrible name right here. Daiwa SSSV103 JDM casting reel. That is a terrible name. Now, this one's just retarded. I swear, that's a terrible name to say, but uh, yeah, it's a joke. $9.97, $10 for this square bill, which isn't terrible because it's the Lucky Craft, Lucky Craft. But look at the name, Luff, Lucky Craft LC RTO Square Bill Crankbait. Oh my god, and it only comes in one color. That is a terrible deal. Sassy Shad. Like, who's gonna buy that for $10? It comes in one color, and it's got the retardedest name in the market. Of any fishing lures. Look, look at all these um, medium diving square bill crankbaits right there. Like that's a normal, that's a normal name. Lucky Strike Rick Klon square bill. Like not a 90. Like what the heck is this? Molex FC 45. Who's gonna say? Oh man, I uh, just copped this new XC 45. Tackle Warehouse links down in the description. No one's gonna say that. Strike King. These crankbaits are total quality. Those suck. The only time I'll ever get mad at Strike King for making a terrible bait right there. Strike King Pro Model 1 and 4s. Oh my god, they suck terribly. They just look so fake. And I think I've caught maybe a 3 pound bass on it fishing during the pre spawn last year up along the banks fishing rip rap on rocks. But that's literally like one of the only fish I caught on this. Cause he's uh, in the middle of this video, I just want to say. Uh, Tackle Warehouse is my favorite fishing store, really, to buy lures online. So I'm not roasting Tackle Warehouse and just roasting some of these lure brands and real brands and rod brands about the terrible names they have for these companies. So now we've switched over to Amazon and you just type in fishing lures and I'm looking at these. What the heck is this? This thing looks totally trash. It's all plastic. The hooks probably rust out in one cast. What is this? A Fajifa Fajiba? X5 DES Fishing Lure Jig Spoon. What a terrible bait. And who's gonna pay $7.99 for this sack of junk? Okay guys, so obviously this Fuji Fiva brand's pretty popular on here. Um, I might have to get a couple of these topwater baits for, lined up on my whole arsenal. Probably gonna get like 39 more of these for the tackle boxes that I don't have to fit them in. This is terrible. What are the chances you're gonna catch a fish on a turtle bait that has a spinner in the back. This has topwater spoons, solid jiling, bass fishing lures, topwater spoons, soft lifelike swim bait, fishing tackle. That made no sense at all. As you can tell, it says topwater, spoons, and soft like, and swim baits. And Jesus Christ, look at this hook in this thing. This is like a frog hook. Good Lord, that is gonna catch maybe a bass out of 79,000 casts you might get a bass. That is if you're lucky. I've actually, uh, uh, I've actually gotten a kind of like a partnership with this brand right here. Um, 
not really sponsored, but uh, I hit them up. I went to their website. Uh, their link will be down in the description below. They make some really good blade baits and rooster tails. What the heck is that? Oh my god. Sun Mile Buzzbait, double bladed fishing lure for pike bass spinnerbait, jig lure fishing, three piece pack, seven point ounces PC, good for walleye spinnerbaits. What the heck? That makes no sense. Good for walleye and spinnerbaits. This is a total crap quality buzzbait. It says good for walleye and spinnerbaits. What is this? Um, once again, might have to uh, string up a whole arsenal of these baits just for a well. They look pretty saucy and juicy. I mean, they got a nice smiley face built into the buzz bait, so I mean, that automatically means that you're not gonna catch anything on them. I hope you all enjoy this video. Uh, I just said the video's not over, but I just realized that, uh, well, I'm not gonna keep roasting these brand and caught fish on. Um, so after this video, my fishing videos are gonna start rising and rising more just because uh, it's almost March, a couple more days, March 1st comes. And I bomb fish every freaking day. I mean, I'm already starting to rig up some baits right here. I mean, I got a Texas rig right here. I got some Senkos, wacky rig, and a couple tubes and grubs ready to go fishing, ready to catch some big largemouth, maybe some smallies. I will be making a good video whenever we go up to Michigan this year and go down the Titabawassee River and out in the bay. Um, so, yeah, hope you all enjoy this video. Thanks for watching the Chase Vogel channel. Um, do not buy any of these companies right here. Besides, ALX rods, buy those, they're good rods, they just got some terrible names, and Daiwa, they're good reels, not my favorite, I love Shimano and Abu Garcia, but they're all over good reels, good brands, except for those lures, I would not mess around with those, maybe the square reels, but none of those other, Amazon, do not buy lures off of Amazon unless you want to get cancerous quality lures, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, thanks for watching the Chase Vogel channel, I'll see you in the next one, hope you have a good weekend, hope you have a good day. Leave it in the comments down below what's your favorite rod company for casting. Thanks for watching the Chase Booker channel.